Hi everyone, here's an in-depth look at Canadian Time Motorsport Park in the Formula 3. This is post-patch and I'm using a VRS B set which Julian made. Fits me perfectly. Um, it's unmodified, haven't touched a thing in it. Now you want to make sure you get a good exit out of the last corner. You don't want to be pushing too hard because you lose um, time all the way to lap 1 if you run wide. And it's very easy if you carry too much apex speed in through here. The car just pushes out a bit and then you can't get it back left. So it's about keeping a tight left here. And then bringing it back in to make sure you get the final apex. If you're too worried about too much speed for those final corners, it's the front starts skipping and you just can't get it back. Now just flat out through here, don't lift, hold a tight line. You want the front right to be touching up on that, that curb there. Now you enter turn, I guess this is turn two, but it's actually the first turn you have to worry about from far right. So you want to move the car right out to the outside of the track and you're turning in and you're turning in at the apex, which sort of appears below the crest. Skip the lap there. Now you want to keep the car in the front left hitting up on that inside left line, but not too much. It, there's a, quite a lot of bumps in there, so if you go too far deep into it, ideally the car would just be about touching the white line. And it's deceptive. I didn't even get that close to it. It feels like you are in the cockpit, but there's quite a bit of gap there. Now you want to, when you're running through this section, hold the car tight. It's about minimizing track distance. So you don't want to be letting it run out here. You kind of want to hug to the left of the track all through. Now I don't believe I'm lifting much. No, I'm not lifting at all in the one. With the B set. So coming through here, you want to move straight back to the left of the track up to minimizing that line. Um, and you're down two gears, braking in a straight line. Now you're wanting to get it up into this inside curb so you come from the outside of the track and make sure you take a sort of medium apex, not an early apex. If you hit the apex back here, you're going to understeer off, but a medium apex around here and get it into that curb, but don't hit it. If you hit it, it will steer off. Then you quickly back full throttle once you get to the apex. Then I'll push the car to the outside of the track. You've got a lot of track out here, so just Keep reducing the steering lock. Don't put any steering lock in you don't need to and let it use all the track out to the outside curb. The car is sometimes quite reluctant to hit this inside apex, but you need to make sure you get it. If you add any track distance here, you're waiting forever to get back on the throttle. So I'm kind of trailing the brake just to keep the front end after I've just trying to keep the front end down so you can coerce it into the into the corner. And I get close to the apex, but it still left a bit of room. There was a little bit of room for improvement there. And the car pushes out. Now down through here, you're just holding a tight inside line. In seasons past, there were bumps here that would damage the car. Not there anymore. So just hold it, hold it left. Now this is probably the one key of the track that's very easy to make a brake. You want to turn the car in on the nose with the brake still moving a lot of the balance forward. But if you get it too much, um, too much forward balance shift, it can spin quite easily. So you've just got to get smooth. I would like to take an, a wide approach and then just slowly bring it into that second apex. A lot of people really like to gun at this first apex here. Um, I find it is a bit too hard to grab the second apex, so I don't really worry about the first one. I go wide, miss the first apex, then bring it back in and grab the second. It's coming down here. Not even touching the first apex, pushing the car out all the track. Just downshifting the whole time, making sure I hit that second apex and accelerating smoothly out. Now realistically, the wider you can run it through here, the better approach angle you're going to get into that second apex, which is what you want, but you're also running the risk of grabbing the um, grass or the dirt on the outside. 
So I've pushed the car, I've left a healthy amount of room here, but ideally the better approach would be from here. That's a much nicer angle than this. So the more risk you want to take to get it on this outside curb, the better you can get. And if at this point the car is jittering around because you've put too much forward weight balance in it under braking, then you're going to have to spend this whole double apex correcting it and that will absolutely kill your drive out. Hitting this apex here and getting the drive up the hill is very important. So I bring the car in. I don't clip it because you do not want to be clipping that apex. I don't use too much outside curb. It tend to catch it. Now we're coming up to the more fun part of the track. Um, maybe not the hardest bit the fun. So you turn in here. I'm sort of ignoring the first apex. I'm not really worrying about hitting it, more taking my line into connect with the second apex. Now on entry, I'm not lifting. Now you want to hold the car's line tight to this apex because the next corner is very important. A lot of people fling it into this apex and carry maximum speed, but what actually happens is the car tends to understeer when you have to quickly change directions or it will oversteer a little bit and then you won't grab the next one. And this next apex is kind of one of the key points of this lap. So you hold a tight line there. I'm just sort of focusing on settling the car, not trying to carry absolute peak apex speed because this is the one I want to hit. Bring a nice medium apex connection there and you want to get the car straight back to the left for the final corner. And when not pushing it too hard, so just taking a nice smooth entry, making sure I collect that apex, and then pushing out. Because what will often happen through here, if the car's struggling to get into this apex, and you're wide here, you're going to have to bring it a long way back, and you almost never. And once you get to this left-handed corner, the car will be at an angle turning left and then it's going to be a lot harder to get it right for this last whereas because I've held tight to that left apex it's flat it's flat on entry to the right so I can just turn in at the angle I want and clip it then push out so that was a 109.598 in TT weather which I felt was a pretty solid lap time around here do that in full speed. 